So the previous video talked about sync interpolation or ideal band limited interpolation, however you want to say it. And this was the way that we went from an impulse sampled signal and perfectly returned to our original continuous time signal X of T. So if we had done impulse sampling to start with, the filter that we talked about in the previous video was the perfect way to reconstruct the original continuous time signal. What about recovering the original continuous time signal in the event that we did sampling with a zero order hold filter? So what if we had actually used some type of zero order hold filter sampling technique to get our sampled signal? How would we go about reconstructing X or T from the zero order hold signal? The way that we would do it is somewhat similar, but there's a, a little bit of a difference. That's what we're going to talk about right here. We're not going to go through all the mathematical details. We're just going to kind of sketch a little picture here, draw this cartoon, but we do want to talk about the differences. So when we go from the zero order hold sampled signal back to the original continuous time signal, one thing we have to make sure we do is we need to make sure we reject all the images. So remember the images are the multiples of the spectrum that appear at omega s to omega s minus 2 omega s, minus 3 omega s, etc. So we need to make sure that our reconstruction filter gets rid of all those. And remember with the zero order hold filter, they were already kind of knocked down some to begin with, um, but we need to make sure that we get rid of them. The other important thing that we need to make sure that we handle is the main lobe distortion. If you remember, the original kind of cartoons we sketched for the zero order hold filter said if we started off with a triangle, the zero order hold sampled spectrum didn't have a tr perfect triangle in the middle. It had kind of this bowed or curved triangle. So the zero order hold filter or sampling technique actually introduced distortion to the original spectrum such that it was no longer a triangle. So if we're going to perfectly reconstruct our original continuous time signal, we need to undo that distortion. So when we use our reconstruction filter to reconstruct a signal that's been sampled using a zero order hold technique, we need to use something that looks like this. So this filter is good because it goes to zero out here, so it's going to reject all of the images. In this part here, though, you can notice it's a little different. It's not flat. It has this little bow to it, and the reason it has that bow is because this amplitude response is exactly the inverse of the bowing that we had before. If you remember before, our low-pass filter in of the zero-order hold sampler kind of had this bow like this. Well, this filter has the inverse of that and it undoes all that distortion. So this right here, these are drawn as dashed lines. We really don't care what these do right here as long as this perfectly undoes the distortion across the band where we had signals. And as long as these hit zero before we get to all the images out here, we don't care. So it could have come down like this, it could have come down like this, it could have come down like this. Um, so these are kind of a don't care as long as we get down to zero before all the images start out here. So this reconstruction filter for zero order hold sampling, it perfectly removes all the images and it perfectly inverts the passband of the original filter that we used. And this is basically what we want to do for any type of sampling technique. For zero order hold filtering, we had this low pass filter that rolled off like this, so we undo it with this. If you do a first order hold filter, it's going to have a different characteristic, and whatever that sampler characteristic has in the frequency domain to begin with, you want to invert it when you do your reconstruction. So we're not going to go through all the details, we just kind of drew one cartoon here, but that's kind of the strategy for any type of reconstruction filter reject images, invert any um, frequency-dependent amplitude distortion that your sampling filter introduced to begin with.